Hello, I'm Eric. In this video, we are going to look at one of my favorite songs in Mochi the Rock. It is called Seizari Naretara. I will explain the song part by part and make sure you turn on the CC subtitle. I made three different languages, including Japanese, Chinese, and also the English. If you like this type of video, please let me know. In the future, I'm going to make more these types of videos. In the chorus, we have one chord, we play in that ring, so the shape is this one. 13, we have ring finger, pinky. 11, we have index, and then we play. And you keep looping it until the octave. Here I will use index and ring because I can change the chord very fast in the next bar. And then you can keep pressing the ring and then just add three fingers on top. So here we have a diminished 7. We use middle finger, ring, index, pinky, and then same F minor 7. Double stop, index and middle, octave. So when I play octave, I mute the string by using middle finger. So next part is the same, until here we have the normal funky technique. We play the ghost note and the open notes. So the focus is on the left hand. We press the string and then we relax, press, relax, press, relax. Our right hand is doing the simple strumming. So. Final sentence, we have double stop, we use index finger and then same chord. Finally, middle finger. I play from 12 and slide to the 16. Then we back to the inner part. Actually, it's same as the intro, but the last note we have full bending, and then pinky, ring finger, and then you do some rubato. Actually, it's quite difficult in first two, and we have many ER beats and we have many up down picking. So in slow motion,
Actually, you need to use four fingers to play this line. Last sentence, we have we have ghost note, but this time we just play on one string only. We don't need to strum many strings. So simply we use two fingers to play index, middle, same techniques. And this part is my favorite part. Simply we have uh, the major 7 arpeggios and then higher octave. Lastly, so whole sentence you need to play the notes individually. Try not to let ring because here it's very easy to hit that. So, and then this fourth fret. And then the same. And here we have a uh, 16 triplet, actually, is very fast. Normally, I will play in up picking first. And then, when I add the notes here, you can play very fast. Some people, they might play down first, but normally I play by using up beat. If you cannot get this beat, actually there's, there's a trick here, it's very easy to play. You can play with the single notes. So here is the trick, two down backing, and then up backing, down, down, up. It's very easy. You can get that triplet sound by using these simple tricks. actually the same but if you want to sound better you can try strum more string Chorus is the same, and here we come to the solo. The solo is the scale rundown and also the arpeggios. And the first one, so simply we use four fingers. Middle, and then Or you can play with sliding, just changing one note. And then arpeggios, major 7. So three octaves, and then, and then, we have a up picking first.
So we have a double stop bending. Simply you bend a 16 on the second string. But you need to add a index finger on fret 13. You play these two notes together. And then this one, you bend a 15. But you need to add the pinky on the 16. So actually it's quite difficult. If you cannot play it, you can try one note first. This is easier. Finally, we have a triplet, 16. You don't need to... You don't need to pack all the notes. You can use the hammer-on techniques. Or you can use down, up, down, up, down. So And then the bridge is very easy. You use index and middle. So index, we bar from the third string, fret eight, middle. We press the fret nine. Right hand, we all down picking. And then we add pinky here. Loop two times. And the second time is the final sentence we have. We add two notes here. And then here, we use index and middle. The middle string, the second string is mute. So the final chorus, we play the power chord with palm mute. So two fingers, index and pinky. You can see my middle fingers is keep muting the sixth string. So when you do the chord changes, you don't need to lift your fingers. You can just keep pressing it. So there might be some sliding sound, it's normal. So final sentence, these three notes, you can open it. And then arpeggios. It share the same shape, so you can use middle, index, pinky. And then ring pinky, middle and then change and then 